La descripción física con tener. Physical description using the verb tener. Español en línea con Señora Corona. Uh, the last lesson that we had was going over the vocabulary that we'll be looking at for um, this particular grammar video. These are the describing words and phrases that use the verb tener. Um, previously, we talked about the verb ser and, and the vocabulary words that are used with that. Um, and now we're going to expand a little bit and use the verb tener. Let's get started. The verb tener means to have. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this verb to describe the physical appearance of ourself and others. Um, one thing that we need to talk about is the definition of conjugate. We actually don't use this word a lot in English um, because generally we already know how to conjugate verbs. Um, it's, it's usually a term that's used when uh, learning a second language or a foreign language. Um, but the word conjugate um, has a complicated, difficult to understand definition, but the actual meaning of the word is that you change a verb to show who does the action. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, so the conjugations of tener that we're going to start with, we're going to do five, just like we did last time. And we're going to start with I have. I have in Spanish is yo tengo. Okay, so let's take a look at some applications of the verb uh, yo tengo in practice. All right, so in this situation, Pablo, uh, this interesting looking gentleman right here, is going to describe himself. The first thing he says is, Yo tengo el pelo largo y liso. Yo tengo una barba larga y canosa. Yo tengo los ojos marrones. All right, now let's take a look at how Mariana would uh, use the verb tener to describe herself. Yo tengo el pelo castaño y ondulado. Yo tengo pestañas largas. Yo también tengo los ojos marrones. And let's go back um, to the uh, slide with the conjugations. All right, so we said that uh, I have in Spanish is yo tengo. And uh, you have in Spanish is tú tienes. Let's look at some sentences constructed with tú tienes. All right, so in this scenario, uh, Carlos is listening to his young grandson, Carlitos, while he chatters away. And let's take a look at some of the things that they say to each other. Carlitos says, Abuelo, Tú tienes el bigote grande. Abuelo says, sí, y tú todavía no tienes bigote. Abuelo, tú tienes el pelo canoso. Sí, y tú tienes el pelo rubio. Abuelo, tú tienes muchas arrugas. Sí, nieto, y tú no tienes ninguna arruga en la cara. So, those are some sentences constructed with tienes. All right, so we said I have is yo tengo, you have is tú tienes, and now we're going to look at do you have, which is still tú tienes, we're just going to change the inflection and we're going to add some different uh, punctuation. Let's take a look at these. So in this scenario, uh, Eduardo and Susana are chatting online before they meet for the first time. So we're going to look at some of the things that they say to each other. ¿Tú tienes el pelo corto? Sí, yo tengo el pelo corto y castaño. ¿Y tú? Yo tengo el pelo rizado y rubio. ¿Tú tienes las gafas? No, 
Yo tengo los ojos cafés. ¿Y tú? Yo tengo los ojos azules. Okay, so we said I have is yo tengo. You have is tú tienes. Do you have? Tú tienes. He has. Él tiene. Let's take a look at these. Uh, in this conversation, Ana Sofía is way too interested in her friend Susana's recent conversation with Eduardo. So let's see what these ladies say to each other. ¿Él tiene el pelo muy largo? No, él tiene el pelo corto. ¿Él tiene los ojos verdes? No, él tiene los ojos azules. ¿Él tiene un bigote? Sí, él tiene un bigote y una barba. So far, we've gone over all of the conjugations of tener that we're going to look at except for one. I have, yo tengo. You have, tú tienes. Do you have? Tú tienes, he has, él tiene. The last one that we have is she has, ella tiene. And let's take a look at some sentences using that form. In this scenario, Fer Fernando is curious about his brother Eduardo's upcoming date. So let's take a look at their conversation. Fernando asks Eduardo, ¿Ella tiene el pelo rubio y largo? Mm, ella tiene el pelo rubio y rizado. ¿Ella tiene las pecas? No, pero tiene los oyuelos. ¿Ella tiene los ojos garzos? No, ella tiene los ojos cafés. So those are some sentences structured with ella tiene. And let's go over these conjugations one more time just to be sure that we have them. I have, yo tengo. You have, tú tienes. Do you have, tú tienes. He has, él tiene. And last but not least, she has, ella tiene. Those are the five forms of tener that we are going to take a look at today. I hope this video gives you a little information about how to conjugate this verb and how to use these vocabulary words to describe yourself as well as other people.